In this video, I'm gonna teach an AI how to play Super Meat Boy. Hopefully the AI can meet our expectations. <laughs> that was a good one. If you've never played this game, it's kind of like Mario. If you took Mario and you ripped off his skin. You play as a sentient Meat Boy and you have to jump around, bounce off walls and avoid traps to get to your girlfriend. It's a really fun game, but the problem is that it's extremely hard. It truly is the Dark Souls of meat-based games. So instead of trying to beat uh, whatever this is, we're gonna go the way of every Silicon Valley startup and try to solve all of our problems using AI. We'll begin by writing the game from scratch, slap an AI onto it, and hope that my laptop doesn't explode. If you're an impatient baby and you want to just skip to the AI part, you can go to this timestamp. Are you ready? Let's get started. We will be making a simplified version of the first 8 levels of the game. Why only 8 levels? Because the later levels look like this. You think I'm gonna write the code for that? I still need to google the most simple questions about coding so no way I'm capable of that. No, but seriously. Super Meat Boy looks like a simple game, but it has some complicated mechanics like wall jumping and stuff, so it's gonna be really interesting coding it from scratch. Okay, so let's start with the environment. Each map has floors and walls. We need to know where these are so our player can walk on them and jump off of them. In our game, we will be creating these tiles and combining them to create our floors and walls. Let's get coding. An hour of coding later and we have... a box. Yeah, this is gonna take a lot longer than I thought. Okay, now we can place a bunch of our tiles and treat them as floors and walls. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Actually, no it isn't. I just got this code from this tutorial that I saw. Okay, let's add our little meat boy. He's just a red box right now, so let's add a little government conspiracy known as gravity. Well, that's awkward. To stop meat boy from dropping all the way to the fiery pits of hell, we need to add collisions. This is fairly easy. All we have to do is check if our player is overlapping any tile, and if he is, just move him so that he isn't. It works! Nice. It's amazing how everything works when you copy it from the internet. It did look a bit janky there, but we're gonna pull a pro gamer move and just ignore that. Now let's add some player controls. Um. Okay, that was my bad. Now our little meat boy can jump and move around. Alright, moving on with the video. Now, you might have noticed that the game has diagonal walls, but I won't be adding them because I value my mental health. A very important part of Super Meat Boy is a mechanic called wall jumping. In this, you can grind along the wall and jump off of it as many times as you want. To make this, all we need to do is check if there is a wall touching the player. And if there is, push them off up and away from the wall. This should be fairly simple. One eternity later. Okay, that only took me 7 hours and 2 mental breakdowns, but it works now and that's all that matters. Oh god, this is so satisfying. Next, we need to create a level editor so I can create the walls and the floors the way they are in the game. So I made a simple level editor where I can load up the original backgrounds, note where the different things are and it converts everything into a 2D array. P stands for player, T stands for target, X stands for tile, and D stands for... Damn, that's a sharp blade. And when I start my game, it can load up the 2D array and render everything in the correct location. It's a little bit off, but as a great sage once said, Nobody's perfect, you live and you learn it. Okay, peasant, now watch me as I make the levels.
That was laborious to say the least. I bet that looked really satisfying, but I just wanna uh, smash my head against a wall. Lastly, I have to add the art for the game, like the character sprites and the backgrounds. And since I'm a CS major without any artistic skills, I'm gonna do something which starts with P, ends with M, and rhymes with plagiarism. There, that looks amazing. It looks just like the original game, cause that's where I stole it from. One more thing I have to do is add some sound effects. Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip that one. And here we have the finished game. Hell yeah, it works! Honestly, I'm very impressed by how close it looks to the original game. Okay, now that we've spent 5 days making a dumbed down version of an existing game, let's get started with the AI. So for the AI, we will be using something called Evolution, courtesy of Charles Darwin. Basically, we're gonna make a hundred little meat boys and give them random neural networks for brains. Then, we're gonna tell them to play the game. We keep some of the ones which got the closest to the target, and we take the remaining sucky little meat boys and mutate their brains. And hope the mutations turn out like this and not like this. Lastly, we'll also make the good meat boys do some woohoo to create children and add them to our population. We'll keep on doing this again and again till our little meat boy can reach Bandage Girl. The idea is that by keeping the best neural networks around and improving the population slowly using mutations and breeding, you can reach the best AI for your problem. In our case, the AI only knows its X and Y coordinates and outputs whether to move left or right and whether to jump. We let the AI run for a few seconds before choosing the best ones based on the shortest path from them to the target location. Now, some of you might say that the AI isn't learning how to play the game, but just memorizing how to beat this level. And to you, I have to say, dude, can you like just chill out, man? When we start, we see that some meat boys just sit there and do nothing all day, much like me. While some get a little wacky, like me when I snort three lines of laxatives. Anyways, hopefully they learn how to beat the game with time. With that being said, I'll play some groovy beats and let you watch Meat Boy Train.
it works yay i would say that i'm proud of myself but i just realized that an ai with like 10 neurons can play a game better than me as i cope with that i'm gonna let the best ai play in the background you know i'm really happy that this turned out so well funnily enough coding the game was a lot harder than making the ai i know i joked about the diagonal collisions but it's really painful to code out and the wall jumping also took a lot of code, weirdly enough. I'm really sorry I was only able to do 8 levels, but coding moving blades and blocks would have taken a lot of time. Anyways, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, it would be great if you could like and subscribe. And if you want me to make an AI beat another game, or more levels of this game, let me know in the comments. Okay, thanks, bye!